So I saw that my first Diffy Q test got graded and I was really nervous and hesitant to check the grade and I finally did and I got a C. That is the highest grade I've gotten on a math test in a while. Probably two semesters. But I figure now is no time to rest on my laurels. <laughs> time to get back at it harder than before and hopefully it'll be a B and then maybe the last one will be an A. But this one, oh my god. If, if, if test one lulled me into a bit of a false sense of security, the second one is just, just a wide haymaker, like right to the face. Because, well, I wouldn't say it's hard, but it's just so much to remember and it's, it's going to be rough. My test is next Monday, week from today. Sounds right. I want to go into that one feeling better than I, than I did on the first one for sure. So it's something. Woo. And then I have a, a Spanish test tomorrow, which pfft, that's how much I care about that. I should probably care more, but it's Spanish. It's just anyhow, going to go up to campus a little early and take the chess set and play with my friend. And then we're going to study, I guess, for Espanol and I'll study independently for math as well. But if someone looks you in your eyeball and tells you differential equations is easy, turn around, run away, never talk to that person ever again because they're lying to their teeth. Uh, a big difference I'm finding between any like calc one through three and differential equations is and stuff like uh, calc 3, like you have different things, like second derivative test, finding a line that's perpendicular to a plane, or, you know, applying Green's theorem over a, a vector field or whatever. All of those things are really different, and they're all algorithmic, but there's, you're not going to confuse those, you know what I mean? With differential equations, everything looks the same, and all you have to do is miss one little notation or or omit one little thing, and the whole thing goes to hell in a handbasket. And that's what makes it really hard, that and just the absolute volume of stuff. Like right now we're doing non-homogeneous linear second order equations. There's obviously ODEs. And there's four or five different types. And for each type, there's two to four cases for each one, which require different input equations basically, or different um, equation formats depending upon the characteristic roots of the given differential equation. So that's, that's, it's just so much stuff to memorize and it all looks so similar. And my test is a week from today. So I, I didn't plan on going fishing tomorrow morning with my friend, but that shit ain't happening. It's gonna, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be really rough. I'm starting to regret taking this over the summer, but hey, I'm in it now. I gotta, gotta do it. Gotta just do it. Today I got this. History of Mathematics by, sorry if I butcher this, Uta Merzbach and Carl Boyer, forward by Isaac Asimov. That's interesting. Um, I didn't realize how hefty this book is. That's probably a solid two inches thick. How many pages we got up in here? Oh, about 600. And I'll be sure to do another 60 second math book review on this if and when I ever finish it or at least get the majority through or get it get a good enough feel for, you know, how it's written and the content and all of that good stuff. Cause I'm not gonna read like four pages and then post a review. That's not really fair to the book or to you guys. It's kind of disingenuous, right? Got a Spanish test tomorrow. I guess I should probably go and study for that. Un poco. But math is just like, after today, it's this big looming cloud just hanging over me. And I just, oh, I gotta fight it off. I gotta, gotta get good, as the kids say. With that, I think I'm gonna call this a day. See y'all next time. Thanks for watching.